my name is Dushari and here is your international news. Using a toilet can pay for your coffee or buy you bananas at a university in South Korea where human waste is being used to help power a building. Cho Jae Yong, an urban and environmental engineering professor at Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology, has designed an eco-friendly toilet connected to a laboratory that uses excrement to produce biogas and manure. BV Toilet a portmanteau of the word B and vision use a vacuum pump to send feces into an underground tank reducing water use. Their microorganism break down the waste to methane which became a source of energy for the building powering a gas stove, hot water boiler and solid oxide fuel cell. If we think out of the box, feces have precious values to make energy and manual. I have put this value into the ecological circulation, Cho said. An average person defeces about 500 grams a day, which can be converted to 50 liters of methane gas, the environmental engineering said. This gas can generate 0.5 kilowatt of the electricity or be used to drive a car for about 1.2 kilometers. Cho has devastated a virtual currency called Kul, which means honey in Korean. Each person using the eco-friendly toilet earns 10 Kul a day. Students can use their currency to buy goods on campus from freshly brewed coffee to instant cup noodles, fruits and books. Students can pick up the procedures they want at a shop and scan a QR to pay with cool. Northrop Grumman Corporation won a NASA contract worth $935 million to develop. Living quarters for the US Space Agency planned outspot in lunar orbit. Astronauts will live and conduct research in the habitation and logistical outpost made by the Northrop for the lunar getaway, a vital component of NASA's Artemis moon program. China is also planning to set up a base in the south pole of the moon and is deploying robotic expeditions to asteroids and Jupiter around 2030. NASA and its commercial and international partners are building gateway to support science investigation and enable surface landings at moon, the agency said in the statement. Northrop Group will be responsible for attaching and testing the integrated quarters with solar propulsion module being developed. Eight countries have signed an international pact for moon exploration as a part of NASA's Artemis program as the U.S. Space Agency tried to shape standards for building long-term settlements on the lunar surface. NASA is targeting a November 2024 launch for the integrated spacecraft on a SpaceX rocket. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel and follow us on Instagram. Thank you.